I'm Ben Hill here at Husk in Nashville, behind the bar with bar manager Adam Morgan as we craft some steeplechase cocktails. Adam, we gotta start with the one that's perhaps the most iconic when you think of horse racing. Being from Kentucky, it's the mint julep. That's right. That's so right. what do we need to make a proper mint julep right at home? Well, it's pretty simple. You need your bourbon, of course. You need some crushed ice, some fresh mint, and a little bit of bitters. Take some mint about four to five leaves. Take them in there, you'll muddle it up in the tin. What I've done here is I've taken some of that mint from our garden and turned it into a simple syrup to give it a little bit of ease of service. I did about a half ounce there. And then for your mint juleps, you wanna do about two and a half ounces. We're bringing out the good stuff, the green yes, label Weller. We're doing the Weller Special Reserve, a nice, sweet, weeded bourbon. And ideally, Adam, you want fresh mint, right? For your fresh mint, mint that's right, yeah. I picked this all up from the garden just before y'all got here, so it's nice and vibrant. So what I'll do is add a couple of dashes of Angostura, just kind of balance everything out, and then we'll take our crushed ice. Okay, and why, why crushed for a mint julep? Because there's, frankly, there's a lot of whiskey in it, and it kind of, it's good for like a hot summer day, and all those things kind of play really well together. Uh, if you don't have crushed ice, sonic ice is a perfect option. Oh, so, yeah. And you'll take some fresh mint, and you'll express some of the, uh, the oils out of those leaves. And then what I also like to do is, is add a couple dashes of bitters, give us a nice color. This is a brown derby. That's correct, yes. The brown derby came about the same time as the mint julep. This one is a little bit more citrusy and refreshing. A few things you'll need for this okay. is your bourbon, but you can also use gin, you can use tequila, whatever it may be. Some fresh grapefruit juice. I like to throw some fresh lemon juice. And then a honey syrup, we infuse this with a little bit of hibiscus to brighten it up. So you're gonna start off with usually a half ounce to three quarters of an ounce of grapefruit juice. Then you'll take a quarter ounce of fresh lemon juice. And then you will take about a half ounce of your honey syrup into your tin with some nice local Tennessee whiskey. Do about two ounces of that. Fill your tin with ice and then you'll shake. Just like Tom Cruise in Cocktail. That's right. <laughs> Get it nice and cold, and that is Brown Derby. Adam, mocktail. Because you might have guests who don't want a mint julep or a brown derby. Maybe they're not drinking, they prefer no alcohol. We can still use some of the same ingredients for both, right? That's right, we're gonna take that, that chocolate mint syrup, do about three quarters of an ounce in there, into our mixing tin. Then we'll take about a half ounce of lemon juice, and then we'll do three quarters of an ounce of fresh grapefruit juice. So still super light, super fresh. Super light, yeah, we're going with the theme. It's gonna be a hot day. You're gonna want something that you can crush. A time or two, alcohol or not. Get them nice and cold. And that's just like a way to activate the citrus. Yeah. And then we'll take something from another staple. Okay. The, whis the whiskey mule, throw in some nice local ginger beer in there as well. And there you go. Light, refreshing, gorgeous. So Ben, I think that's all you need to celebrate Steeple Chase from the comfort of your own home. And let's celebrate right now, Adam. Job well done. Cheers. Couple of mint juleps, cheers. Enjoy Steeple Chase.